Hey, what's up everyone? Dragon back again here to tell you that you should be reading Dinotopia Journey to Chandara. So Dinotopia Journey to Chandara is the fourth Dinotopia novel written and illustrated by James Gurney uh, and kind of basically now follows the character Arthur Dennison who has been on this kind of this island slash small continent for quite a while now. He's basically pretty much been fully integrated in this culture and the society. His son is now a full-fledged Skybax rider, you know, so they've, they've acclimated to this life and to this world. But uh, Arthur being kind of an explorer, being kind of a naturalist, you know, he's he's kind of now that he's kind of grown into this life, he's kind of become accustomed to it. Now his, his desire to learn more about this, this place, this Dinotopia is starting to kick in uh, now that he, you know, what he's been surrounded with not has been hasn't become mundane by any means, but he's become accustomed to it, and he wants to learn more about this world and then uh, the world beneath. He's learned about kind of Dinotopia's history with Poseidos and kind of where Dinotopia came from, so to speak. But now he wants to know more about you know this this society as it is, and there are still parts of it that are you know not unknown, but are you know less known to kind of his corner of Dinotopia. Particularly, you know, there is you know. The Eastern you know, Empire of Chandara, where essentially a different facet of culture uh, on this island exists, not completely different from what he has seen and uh, and what we as kind of the readers have seen, but it's it's a it's a society and a culture that kind of is somewhat apart, not not completely, but you know it it, it kind of works as its own thing and is a bit older a little bit in terms. of of um, you know of uh, how it's run. In fact, there is even an emperor there still, which is kind of a considered to be you know nowadays more of an arcane form of government, but it's still a government that functions very well in this region of Dinotopia. So you know, Arthur and Bix kind of go on the road a little bit and kind of go a bit on a journey that's not all that dissimilar to the, the journey him and Will and Bix took in the first book, uh, Land Apart from Time, going to this place, this Chandara, to kind of see this. This other part of Dinotopia that which for for them, especially Arthur, it's kind of like rediscovering Dinotopia all over again because he's discovering a new kind of facet of Dinotopia. And on their way there, they meet all kinds of interesting characters. We see different areas of Dinotopia. We even see this really cool town that's um, essentially made from, you know, the remnants of shipwreck ships, you know, that they've kind of propped up and built to kind of turn into this cool kind of village and he's basically seeing you know these other groups other smaller cultures he encounters different kinds of people along the way some people are a little more rough around the edges so you're seeing kind of different flavors of dinotopia which you know like him for the reader we're realizing that what dinotopia is 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 broader than maybe we had thought initially that there are more spectrums within it more shades of gray um, you know, within it, you know, basically more colors of the rainbow. And when he gets to this this place, this empire, he sees a culture that's not dissimilar from the one that he has come to know and love, even. But you know, that has different it has a different feel to it. So it's like different flavors, if you will. It's kind of like if you like ice cream. You know, some people like chocolate, some people like vanilla. Ultimately, it's all ice cream, but it's still different in some way. Um, and he goes there and he discovers. A culture that is, is different. It's it, 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 it kind of invokes this sense of curiosity in him. And I won't give away the ending. There's a bit of a, a little bit of surprise when you, you know, meet who the emperor is, uh, which is really really cool. Um, but you know he learns that you know there's more to Dinotopia for him to discover. That he hasn't seen it all yet. That he hasn't you know discovered everything about. It. There are still corners of it for him to discover new things new elements about it for him to learn about so that you know the thrill of discovery is not lost on him that he can still find new things even in a in a land that you know in theory you know should you know just being in a place like Dinotopia should be discovery enough for any of us and for him for the longest time it kind of was but now that he's settled in you know that that desire that that yearning to learn more to discover more is kicking in so you know enter this journey um and now, with all the Dinotopia books, they're beautifully illustrated by James Gurney. Um, this one being no exception, and in my opinion, probably um, sh shows off some of the finest artwork he's done, especially within the Dinotopia uh, franchise. Um, and, you know, with all these books, he 
always takes the opportunity to kind of uh, show off, you know, dinosaurs as we know them today, introducing species that he hasn't shown in the books yet. Uh, there's a great, uh, you know, little portion of the book where we meet a, a gentleman and a Therizinosaurus. And this Therizinosaurus has, has beautiful plumage showing you dinosaurs with feathers, you know, really as science knows them today. And showing, you know, in beautiful detail that, you know, dinosaurs with feathers doesn't look dumb, you know, by some people think. You know, that dinosaurs with feathers are look beautiful and amazing and, quite frankly, more exotic than, you know, you, know, you would think a dinosaur even could you know, you think of dinosaurs how amazing they looked and how incredible they were and that you know if that judge it's enough and the fact that now we know that dinosaurs were even more incredible even more you know spectacular to look at than we've even thought they were that they ironically enough that science right now has kind of surpassed fiction in a lot of ways you know uh the dinosaurs we know look even more incredible than we see them in the movies and in this book we see them kind of displayed in fantastic fashion and yet it's accurate and that's the greatest part about it that he does not shy away from a scientific accuracy just for the sake of continuity we know more about dinosaurs now and he always wants to reflect uh that knowledge in his story uh and in, since this that time too and since 2007 we've learned even more about them so if hopefully he does another dinotopia book uh we would be able to see that reflected in its pages but you know beneath the sense of journey discovery what, what the story really feels like it's about and what i really took away from it was it's it's a story about a little bit not, not like culture shock but just to kind of show you how much you can really learn about yourself yourself and your own preconceived notions by traveling somewhere else and encountering a different culture from yourself and when you do that um you realize just how much you have in common and how much you have different i mean that on, on the surface when he first gets there you know he's you know, he sees a society that looks very similar. You see big, grand buildings with humans and dinosaurs, and it kind of looks like, you know, Dinotopia, as we've all come to know and love. But when he spends time, he realizes the culture is a little bit different. The, some of the customs are different. And he's kind of basically getting the equivalent of, you know, you or I traveling to another country, you know, other than the one we live in, you know, and experience, yeah, there's still people, there's still buildings, you know, you, you probably find like Starbucks, McDonald's, but people might talk differently people might dress a little bit differently the language might be different or the even if it's the same language the accent might be different you know certain customs might be, might be different you know certain words might mean different things there it's it, it's different and in by going to these places you learn so much about what makes culture culture you know and and you realize that how much of what you consider normal is really a cultural norm and that that What's considered normal to you may be different to somebody else and those differences aren't necessarily scary or strange but can be fun because when you kind of walk around in your everyday life you kind of get a sense well not a lot of surprises you know what everything is you don't know have everything works but when you go someplace and just the day to day you can experience something new everywhere you turn there's a sense of discovery that comes with that and it's exciting because you wonder what am I going to learn today? What am I going to see today? When I turn that corner, what am I going to experience when I have a conversation with that person behind that counter? What will that exchange be like? Because now it's not necessarily going to be exactly as you would think it would be based on where you come from. So the sense of discovery isn't just the journey there, which is really awesome, by the way, but also just in the day to day when you realize just how much you take your everyday interaction with people for granted just because kind of all kind of of the same cut from the same cloth so to speak but when you go to a different culture something that is would be considered mundane is now fun now it's exciting because now there is a sense of discovery to it because it's different now there's something new to be had there's something new to experience for you and for the character arthur that's really what he kind of takes away from this when he goes to this place he realizes wow there's so much more even here in dinotopia for me to learn and discover that it's not all just laid out right in front of me that and while he's enjoyed his experience thus far and while yes he loves where he's been he finds the need to kind of want to stay here and learn more because it's the sense of discovery that's kind of reinvigorated him and it's a sense of discovery not for a long lost civilization like it was in the world beneath but just for the everyday to be able to once again walk outside his home and everything be new everything be exciting or at the very least every day be able to come across something new and learn about a not a better or worse but a different way of kind of maybe going about the same kind of day to day see what a slightly different culture spin 
on your average day is like because for just like for them that's normal for you it's going to be something new and even on the flip side see what they can learn from you too because with you you're going to be bringing in a wealth of knowledge and experience that may differ from them so it's kind of a give and take they get to kind of discover something new through you while you get to discover something new through them and it's kind of this mutual exchange and again it's all about basically coming to understand people who are a little bit different than you learning about them and learning why they do the way things the way they do how they do it you know what it means to them and in doing so you could probably learn that you're not all as different as you think you know you might come from a little bit different backgrounds you might do certain things differently you might you know approach something differently but ultimately we all want the same thing you all have kind of the same goals you just maybe come at them from slightly different ways and when you by discovering that about one another you realize that the more as much as you find something that about someone else that's different than you the more you'll find that how much they're actually a lot like you because if you travel around the world you find that people are not as different um as maybe we all like to think ourselves on the surface we see things differently yes we may look different we might approach things differently but ultimately we tend to want the same things to be happy to be healthy you know for our children to be okay to have friends you know to basically to have live a long happy comfortable life regardless of how we maybe we approach that so that's ultimately what i think arthur takes away uh, in the story is that, you know, yes, there's still so much more for him to discover in Dinotopia and that the more he learns about what makes it different from, you know, one facet of it to the other, the more he realizes that how connected it all really, really is. And that's kind of what I took away from the story is that ultimately it's about connecting people who maybe feel that they're apart from one another and helping them realize that they're not as disconnected as maybe they have come to believe. So, with that said, Dinotopia, Journey to Chandara. I always kind of get tongue-tied when I say it because I might get I, I get tongue-tied on the, the CH. So, Journey to Chandara, or is it Chandara? I can never quite figure it out. But anyway, have you read it? If so, what did you think? If you haven't, as always, I will leave links in the description section below where you can pick it up, check it out. Please do so. I think this has some of the very best artwork in the Dinotopia series. I mean, I love flipping through this book. Even if I'm not reading it, I always find myself kind of just pulling it off the shelf and flipping through it just to look at the artwork. I mean, again, James Gurney, he's he's only gotten better over the years. I mean, A Land Apart From Time was still is still just, for the art alone, is absolutely amazing. And you would probably look at that and think there are artists who work their whole lives and never get that good, and yet he gets better with each successive book. So, you know, once you get through this one, hopefully you've read all the other ones, you'll be like me and just crossing your fingers that maybe we'll get, you know, another Dinotopia book from him just to further see what he can do with this world just to see more of his artwork and just also to see what you know what we've learned about dinosaurs since then seeing that now reflected in a form of pop culture in a book in a piece of entertainment because again he makes it look so beautiful but anyway check it out come back give me some of your thoughts I always love to know what you guys have to say so thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you on the next one peace